Hey guys, so today I am doing a prank video on my husband. We are eating fufu and okra soup. I just want to give him a tiny, tiny, tiny portion and then we'll just see how he reacts to it, okay? So anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please, before we start, give it a thumbs up, like the video and subscribe to our channel. Please, please, please subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, thank you. All right, so let me see this is me? Yeah, that's you. How come you only have fill my milk? I understand why you're stingy with the it, it, with, it, with this, but <laughs> oh, we're eating with our hands today. Yeah, don't you miss that? Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jim, and I'm Sarah, and today we are having fufu and okra soup. You excited? You don't look too excited to have fufu today. Hmm? You're not excited to have fufu, baby? Or you want a fork? I don't get it. There's a discrepancy here. <laughs> what discrepancy? Um. <laughs> small what? discrepancy in the size of our dishes. There's no discrepancy, babe. Hmm. Yeah, I have fufu for my husband and fufu for me. Ooh, and delicious okra. All right, first we're going to pray. Dear Jehovah, thank you for all your many blessings. Thank you for our beautiful children, for my exquisitely wonderful wife, for our health and the strength of character that you give all of us. We pray that you will continue to bless us Give us courage. Help us always to do what is right. Help us to treat each other with kindness and love. We ask all things in the name of your Son and our reigning King, Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. I feel like that prayer is directed to me. <laughs> hey, if you have a guilty conscience, I don't know what to tell you. Because you started complaining and then you're talking about treating each other with love. I'm like, okay. Is he praying to me? Is that prayer directed no, no, to I, me? No, I pray to Here. God. You wash your hands. Thank you. Oh, is he praying about me, I meant. This is the only hand I'm sticking in the food, so, okay. All right. Enjoy. My baby has not tasted cauliflower fufu before. What do you think about the texture? Uh, it's interesting. It's interesting, right? Oh, gosh. This is Jim's first time trying cauliflower food. I can't time. hang on to it. <laughs> Why? I was only able to put the meat in my mouth. It's slipping out of my hand. <laughs> mm. It definitely does not have... The Gary texture? Yeah, it does not have the texture of Gary. Mm. Not by a long shot. Mm -mm. Mm. It does not taste like Gary. No, it tastes more like fufu. You can taste the cauliflower. Yeah, you can. I mean, we're not eating it because it tastes like exactly like Gary. Yeah. It's just to have something to swallow with. Mm. Swallow. Mm. You're almost done already. <laughs> Baby, don't rub it in. Mm, rub it in. The fact that you gave me such a small portion. Was it a small portion? Yes, baby. Everybody watching the camera <laughs> knows that it was a small portion. Babe, that's a normal person portion. Uh huh. Mm. Mm. In what world? Mm. Mm. Enjoy your meal, baby. I am. I'm enjoying it very much. Mm. Mm. It has more of a fufu consi consistency. Yeah. Remember that fufu we had? Yes, I remember. It has a fufu consistency. I actually prefer it better than fufu, actually. The taste, I do. Pre I, I prefer it way better than, than plantain fufu we had. We had this plantain fufu and I didn't like it at all. Um, the cauliflower I like better. Mm. It's not as absorbent, 
so it doesn't let you pick up as much of the okra. The okra kind of just makes it slippery and slides off of it. Wow. If I was eating that Gary, one hand, one hand, it would be gone. You <laughs> He's amazing. <laughs> wants that Gary to go a long way. <laughs> Only one like this and it's done. How many cuts are you gonna have with that? How many places are you gonna cut it into? Jam. Mm. You okay? Mm -hmm. You alright? Mm -hmm. Still love me? Always. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Look at all this meat. <laughs> Look at all this meat and soup. Mm -hmm. She's not normally this mean. She's doing this for the video. Mm. <laughs> The food almost came out of my mouth. I'm not normally this mean. Mm -mm. I think I'm doing it for the video. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so Jim is right. I was doing it for the video. Jim didn't fall for it. He was just enjoying his meal. And eating it and slurping on his okra. What do you think, guys? <laughs> He's coming for my cauliflower. Should we give him more food or should we just leave him at that? Since that was supposed to be a prank. Should we give him more? Waiting for a reply. <laughs> okay, that meant yes. All right, we'll give him more, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you hit the like button. Leave a comment. Don't be mean to Sarah. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. God bless you all. We have made it up to Jim and giving him normal portions, okay? So guys, this is um, cauliflower blended. We'll put a little bit of psyllium husk in it and mix it all up. Mm. It is so light. It's falling off so easy, yeah? Normally, Gary doesn't get this slippery. Yeah. Fufu does, though. Yeah. Remember I, that fufu we yeah, had? Yeah, I didn't care for the fufu. Yeah. Fufu does. This this has the fufu consistency, like straight up. I know some people swear by the fufu, but I... And no disrespect mm -hmm. to those who like it. I just... I didn't. Mm-mm. Babe, you don't even have to apologize, because... I'm from Nigeria and I don't like fufu. I don't know why. Yeah. I never liked it. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody who likes it. But maybe because I grew up in um, Cameroon mm -hmm. and they had a different kind of fufu. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know why I never liked it. Oh gosh, this okra soup is to die for. It was. A little bit warm though. Hmm? A little warm? Uh -huh. mm. Mm. Now you said the cauliflower has a lot of um, potassium, right? Yes. Cauliflower is high in potassium. So this is two heads of cauliflower right here. Two heads. How much um, potassium per head? I can't remember exactly, but I think it's like uh, 600 and change. Is that what you need in a day? Change. Oh, no. Uh, Goodness Lord, are you serious? You need... The average adult needs... 4,700 milligrams wow, of potassium Lord. every day. Almost wow. four times the amount that you need of salt. Wow. So I will very often use 
a uh, salt substitute, a light salt. Not because I'm trying to reduce my sodium, but because I'm trying to increase my potassium. Mm. And the light salt is a substitute for, uh, 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 for the sodium. They use potassium in place of the sodium. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Oh, this is so you good. You need sodium, too. But there's so much sodium in everything that we eat. The sodium intake is easy to get enough. It is easy to get enough sodium. It is difficult to get enough potassium. Hmm. You take about eight or nine medium sized potatoes oh, wow. to get all the potassium that you need. Oh, eight or nine? Mm -hmm. That's about, a lot of potatoes. About 15 or 16 bananas. How, how aren't you adding weight when you, if you eat that many potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's just it. It, it, it. We think of potatoes and bananas as being the best sources of potassium, and they really are good sources of potassium. But calorie-wise, it's it, it, it it's not that good a trade-off. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. A lot of a lot of roots and and fruits that are high in calories, uh, high in uh, carbohydrates, have uh, have a lot of potassium. But if you're trying to get your daily values and lose weight at the same time, uh, that's not very effective. So, if you're trying to get the daily values that you need, uh, the Lower carbohydrate choices are things like cruciferous vegetables and green leafy vegetables. Uh, you also there's also a considerable amount of potassium in a lot of the meats that we eat. Uh, chicken, pork, beef all have potassium in them. The cauliflower is not bad when you get used to it. The first time I ate it, I was like, "What in the world?" It takes some getting used to. I've had it a couple of times. This is the first time Jim's having it. It's called cauliflower fufu. So if you don't want to eat fufu, you can have it as a substitute. The thing with the uh, the vegetables, the cruciferous vegetables and other vegetables like that, is you may have to consume more of your nutrients when you're eating vegetables than the daily requirements or you or you might actually if you were on a on a uh, carnivore diet might actually need less of the nutrients mm -hmm. because most vegetables have chemicals in them that prevent you from absorbing a lot of the nutrients oh, okay Especially if you eat them raw. Cooking does neutralize some of the chemical so that it doesn't prevent as much. Mm. So it doesn't prevent as much of the uh, nutrients from being absorbed. But carnivore diets. Uh, they frequently find they don't need as many of some of the nutrients because there's nothing interfering with the body absorbing it. Oh. They absorb more Wait, of it. So this is how you do it. You put a little hole in it, in the middle. Mm-hmm. You see that? It's mm -hmm. like a little... And then you now use it to surround the soup. Mm-hmm. 
And you use four fingers on that side, one on this side. See? Mm-hmm. Let's see. You see? <laughs> That's it, you get more soup in it. And you wind up consuming a lot more of the Gary or Foo Foo or whatever you're using. Mm -hmm. Anyway, how is the it okra? Does take, it does take some getting used to. The okra mm -hmm. is delicious, baby. Mm. But the cauliflower foo foo does take some getting used to. Correct. You have to get used to it, yeah. So what was going through your mind when you saw that bite-sized, tiny portion food? Prank. <laughs> <laughs> or you knew immediately? It was kind of obvious. See, I don't understand. Well, maybe maybe it's all a show, but I don't understand how people that you do pranks all the time still fall for pranks. I just don't get it. Yeah, I'm like, I just don't, because even my kids, as soon as you just bring something abnormal or some abnormal topic, they're like, prank. I'm just saying they just pick it up immediately, you know? Right. Whereas you see people and you're like, Do they, are they really serious? This person doesn't know it's a prank yet? They do pranks all the time. Like, how do you fall for that? But, no, it, it, it's got to be an act. It's, got, it's it, an act, it, right? Yeah, they're, they're pretending. They're pretending to fall for it. <laughs> I guess it's more fun when you pretend. Babe, you need to stop pretending. Mm -mm. Okay, I'll put it on an act for y'all next time. Tell him to put up an act. Jim just comes here, I give him anything he's like. Okay, she's pranking me, I'll just play along. <laughs> <laughs> you need a spoon? Probably. That's how we eat bone in Africa. Look at this, guys. American bone. Look at American. Wait. <laughs> Look at American bone. All clean. A lot of meat in it. Everything's still in it. Cartilage, everything. Now, look at African bone. Just check this out. I don't broke this one into pieces. This one is in pieces, and I'm still devouring. Look. You can legit see the inside of the bone. That is the healthy way to eat. That is the healthy way to eat bone. Because Some all people, those nutrients, all those nutrients from the soft part of the bone and the cartilage. Some people will tell you it's only dog because I break the bone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some people will tell you that human beings are herbivores. <laughs> there are morons of all kinds. You're not one of them guys. <laughs> Should I get your spoon? No, man. You sure? Yeah. Awesome. African man. We need to be fully African here. I wasn't trying to make you eat the boat. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, that was some good food. But that's very healthy. There are an enormous amount of important nutrients in the cartilage and the soft part of the bone. They help you rejuvenate your skin, your hair, your nails, your own bones, your own cartilage. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Jim needs to learn how to act, okay, so he can make the pranks look real. <laughs> I'm no fun. I'm a stick in the mud. I always have been. <laughs> But anyways, guys, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye. Bye. I used to do this when I was a teenager. I don't remember when I stopped doing it. But it's not like I chew it and swallow it. Because I see you swallow I just chew it and chew it and take all the succulents. That was more like it. <laughs> you did it better than I did actually. Oh, just to add this, Jim is going on a 10, no, is it 10 day fast? 10 day fast. Jim is going on a 10 day fast on the 24th? 23rd. On the 23rd? 
So Jim is going on a, on a 10, 10 day fast on the 23rd of this month. So in two days. So um, hopefully we have this video by then. Um, if you would like to join him on this fast, he will be on Facebook. Look for JS Backstage on Facebook. We, um, I don't think we have any friends there, but he's just going to be posting a daily update. So if you want to join him on this fast, if you want to fast with him, join him on JS Backstage on Facebook. He will be uploading just daily with updates, exercise updates when he's exercising or, you know, just updating you about how the fast is going. Right. Or if you want to join him at any point in time during the 10 day fast, you can also, you know, follow us on Facebook for that. It's going to be like a daily update on Facebook regarding the fast. It's a uh, health. Is it a health fast? Yeah. It's not a spiritual fast. It's a health fast. You know. Yeah. Right now I'm doing it for, uh, for health. Uh, there will be a couple of short fasts for spiritual reasons in the not too distant future, but during the course of the year, there are a couple of days that I take. You know, I'll fast for spiritual reasons, but correct. But this one will this be this one is primarily fast. for health. Just trying to keep the uh, aches and uh, aches and swelling in my joints to a minimum, and fasting helps with that. Okay. So enjoy this mukbang. We don't know when we're going to see Jim again for mukbangs. <laughs> <laughs> Jim is going to be MIA. It's not because, you know, there's anything wrong. It's just oh, no. because he's fasting. So. Like yeah. she, she, if she's going to kick me to the curb, she hasn't told me about it. There's no <laughs> way on earth I'm leaving her. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the way you did chop that food in. <laughs> He's slurping it, slurp it, baby, slurp yeah. it, slurp it, slurp it. There's yeah, something else I'd rather be slurping. <laughs> I know, so now there you go, go. <laughs> I go there. I shower. I did, uh, I did go there. I shower mania. Yeah, I shower. I slurp. Ooh, yeah. As soon as I said slurp it, baby, I just knew he was going to go somewhere else. Oh, yeah. Jim, you can't, you know, they carry last mm. when it comes to that topic. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, you finished the cauliflower, yay.